Hello world, welcome to Shell Quickie. In this one, we're going to talk about useful control bindings on the shell. Let's start with clearing the screen. I can't promise that this is going to work in every environment, but it's very rare that it won't. Instead of typing clear and hitting enter, you could control L it, which will achieve the same result. You're typing a command and realize that you made a mistake in the last word. To delete the previous word, you control W. And then you realize that you want to erase the entire line and type a different command. You can control U to erase everything from the cursor to the beginning. You're done with the new command. Now you want to enter the command you'd erased before. You can control Y to paste content that was erased last time. If you control W, you erase the word, but you can also bring that back with control Y. Control U, you erase to the beginning. You can bring it back with control Y. Other useful navigation control bindings are control A to go to the beginning of the line and control E to go to the end. Control F to go forward the character and control B to go back character. The counterpart of control U where you want to erase to the end of the line from your cursor is control K. And again, you can bring that back with control Y. If you want to bring back commands from the history, you control P for the previous command and control N for the next command. Also, you can control R to do a reverse incremental search where you can start typing any part of the command and the shell will show the most recent command that matches it. You can control R in the state to go to the previous command that matches what you're typing or control S to go to the next one. Careful though, as, as some terminals suspend screen redraws when you press control S and you'll feel that your terminal hung up on you. If the terminal does so, you can mostly make it snap back to census by pressing Ctrl Q. To execute the command, you can press enter. If you want to just get the command and make modifications to it, do a search, press escape. It'll drop you to shell with the command field where you can make the necessary changes before executing the command. The other case is when you want to just quit out of the search. To achieve that, you press Ctrl G. Most of these bindings, maybe all, come from Emacs. And there's an option you can set in your shell RC to use VI bindings. Although they don't have all the features from Vim, like text objects, which I particularly miss the most. Anyway, it's neat enough to use on the shell. On bash, you can set minus OVI and on Zish, you can bind key minus V to enable VI bindings on the command line. But you lose the ability to clear screen with control L and some other bindings that are easier to use in the Emacs mode. And you'll have to do additional tinkering to get a mixture of Emacs and VI bindings on the shell for a super efficient set of binds. Even the friendly interactive shell fish has VI bindings, but they're less functional than the ones in Bash and Zish. That is all for this one. Thanks for watching.